Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank CII team for organizing such a knowledgeable sharing event and uh, providing me opportunity to speak on this forum. As we all know, since the beginning of uh, cement production, fossil fuels are used, but due to environmental issue and uh, scarcity of uh, fossil fuels, cost economics, industry is looking for alternative source of fuel to be more sustainable and also to be more sustainable. These alternative fuels are beneficial in many aspects, but on the other hand, they affect the performance of refractory substantially. So today I am going to discuss about the how we can minimize the refractory challenges in sustainable way when using alternative fuels in cement production process. So in my presentation, the contents are like a brief introduction about the company, HSD products and characteristics, alternative fuels and refractory challenges, HSD product selection, and then selected references for castable and or precast model learning. And finally, the question and answer session. So primarily, uh, we are privately owned company established way back in 1843. Uh, basically, we produce, develop, produce, and sell refractive materials. Our head office, research and development and production is in Denmark. Subsidiary is in India and Thailand. And we also having our sales office in Europe, Copenhagen. We are currently supplying to more than 50 countries worldwide. Our main products are aluminum silicate castable and precast, which we supply in cement, steel, and power industry. Annual capacity of our factory in Denmark is 20,000 tons per annum and 1,000 tons for precast. Uh, from our head office, in Denmark, we provide engineering, consulting, designing of refractory lining, depending on the site requirement. All the related testings uh, are done in our laboratory in Denmark to give the maximum uh, performance as per a specific customer process environment. We provide technical supervision for installation of all our supplied products by deputing high skilled supervisor and uh, engineers at site during the time of installation. So now coming to the Hasley products and its characteristics. Hasley produces uh, mainly all the type of uh, dense castables to be used in cement plant, uh, whether it's traditional castable, gunning castable, low cement castable, or no cement castables. We produce all range of dense castables. Uh, we use uh, high grade raw materials like samod for alkali resistance andalusite for thermal soft resistance mullite for strength providing bauxite for abrasion resistance corundum for high refractiveness micro silica for densification and workability various silica and alumina fines for mullite formation at high temperature and silicon carbide for the high thermal conductivity and thermal soft resistance property to be provided in refractories has the refractive products are uh, known around the world for their outstanding properties and resistance to high temperatures, chemical attack, thermal shock, erosive and abrasive wear, buildup and slag resistance, and mechanical stress. These are the basically uh, challenges faced by the cement plant, each and every cement plant. So has the products take care of all these challenges. Now coming to the type of alternative fuels and different challenges faced by the refractory in cement plant. So why alternative fuels are required? Means why uh, cement industry is looking for alternative fuels? The first thing is the uh, scarcity of fossil fuels. Secondly, high cost of conventional fuel or fossil fuel. Many alternative fuels provide high calorific value compared to fossil fuels. And uh, alternative fuels emits lesser CO2 and other greenhouse gases when it is burned. And also, as we are going to use a more and more alternative native fuels, it means that we are not going to use natural resources like uh, coal, uh, coal, other petroleum products. So we are maintaining the ecosystem of the society. And also when we are going to use different wastes like uh, tires, agri waste, meat and bone meal, sewage sludge. So we are removing all these wastes from the society and making our society greener and cleaner. To use that is beneficial for uh, everyone in the society. 
we can see from this graph that uh, uh, coal, which is a fossil fuel, it uh, gives the uh, 27 megajoule of uh, per kg, while alternative fuels like pet coke and tires are having LHV value more than coal. And also uh, other waste products like agri waste, which is completely waste for the for the society, it can be also used in our cement process to get more very high grade of temperature. Like you can see here, agri waste you can get 16 unit meat and bone meal 15, 13 units from cement slur. So coming to the different type of alternative fuels uh, which are currently used in the cement industry, uh, like pet coke, it can be like pet coke, agricultural waste, municipal solid waste, pharmaceutical waste, rejected tires, plastics, waste oils, and so there are some more. These are the main uh, alternative fuels which are currently used in the industry. So on the one, uh, one side, these alternative fuels are providing lot of advantages to the cement cement plants and other industries also. Uh, on the other hand, the, there are some challenges also. Like for uh, towards the process side, plants are facing poor heat distribution when using alternative fuels. Sometimes unstable pre-calciner operation and dusty kilns. And also, when these alternative fuels are burnt, they uh, introduces more and more incombustible material in the system, which forms, which in the is in the form of ash. And also, when it is burnt, they provide they releases lot of volatile gases in the system. These gases are especially alkali, sulfate, and chlorides. Like we can see, uh, when we are using more and more municipal solid waste, it into burn in more, MSW. It introduces more and more ash and high content of alkali and chloride. And when we are using pet coke, they are into, it is introducing high amount of sulfur in the system. And when we are using pharmaceutical waste, they are, it is introducing high amount of chloride in the system. So this way, these high alternative when we are burning alternative different type of gases are re released or introduced in the system. So how they are impacting the refractory? So like. Uh, Alkalis basically uh, so sodium oxide and potassium oxide uh, basically react with the alumina of the refractory and forms a new crystal structure with high volume. Because of that, these you can see here uh, refractory cracks uh, when these alkalis react with the high uh, this alumina of the refractory and sulfates uh, which are coming from the alternative fuels react with the these alkalis and also react with the surface and uh, matrix of the refractory and makes the refractory more and more brittle and fa failing in future. Chlorides are uh, very volatile and it infiltrates in the refractory lining and condensate and when it again temperature rises it again came out. So it is again making uh, uh, because of chemical you know corrosive nature it is making weak the this refractory body. And also many times these chlorides attack on the anchor system and making it fail. So because of the heavy, very heavy coating formation and buildup, you can see these are impacting the there are lot of coating formation in smoke chamber area and also in riser area and and many times plants are facing coating issues in feed pipes and also many times in the cyclone cyclone area in the preheater. Here I'm sharing some pictures from the plant. You can see here feed pipe with lot of coating. Uh, roughly more than 60% of area is packed with the coating. And you can also see picture of smoke chamber and riser duct. You can see the lot, lot of coating in the system. And actually this, <clears throat> this uh, uh, hampers the flow of the raw material in in the process. Here is another picture from for the burner pipe where uh, these chemicals coming out from the alternative fuels attack on the refractory and make it underperform within within three months four months life these refractories are failed in the burner pipe. This is just a example for, for the burner pipe. So what happens? Uh, uh, AFR causes some shorter life of refractory 
disturbs the flow of material by forming more coating frequent cleaning of coating is required intermediate breakdowns to repair the refractory if it is uh, failed before the campaign life there is loss a lot of loss of heat and energy and other resources like manpower and material when you are going to repair that refractory and to run the plant for full campaign more and more refractories are required even after when uh, plant is taking shut down more and more refractories required to repair to again run the plant so upgradation of refractory is need of our to cope with the above mentioned issues and use more and more alternative fuels so if your refractory is better in quality you can use it it will enable the cement plant to use more and more alternative fuels so now coming to the hasle products there are many all the type of product there are many type of products which can be used in most of the areas of the cement plant uh, we have one uh, hasle precast modular lining solution the basic advantage is mixed these are basically mixed vibrated cured heated under controlled condition this can be installed faster than the customer installation no drying required before the startup thinner lining is possible longer life is can be expected compared to castable lining these are resistant to chemical chemical attacks like from the alkalis sulfate and chlorides and hence provides very less build up or coating here is a small video for to show the installation of how it it is installed these are the precast blocks it is size of 250 by 250 mm and 120 mm thickness and the its weight is around 15 to 17 kg so it is very easy to handle during its installation so first first of all these steel plates are welded on the cell these are the basic elements which are fixed by using the proper expansion provisions then these are fixed by using l anchors same way on the other wall so these rails are welded on the mother cell and uh, by using this uh, washer and board arrangement these precast are fixed by providing proper expansion provision and this goes on goes on once uh, three four layers of uh, precast is installed this is this gap is filled up with uh, insulating cast table to ma make it more insulating and more thermal efficient so it goes on like this so you can see the completed smoke chamber area uh, we can we can design different type of different uh, type of precast depending on the area of installation like it, it may be smoke chamber area bull nose area or cyclone roof etc so now coming to the selected differences this is the case uh, for 8000 tbt plant using 10% of alternative fuels and uh, this plant is facing heavy coating in riser area you can see the coating pattern on the cast table surface while you can see there is no coating formation on the surface of modular lining here we got the life the plant is able to achieve 4 years life with this lining this picture after 4 years actually then coming to another case for smoke chamber area this is 5005 tbt plant from india the plant is using 50% pet coke in main burner this is facing heavy coating issue in kiln inlet box we, and uh, we installed modular lining in during 2017 shut down and three, this picture is after 3 years of operation and in december this year we are going to install we already supplied our modular lining for second installation in this plant this is a case uh, for uh, line capacity of 4200 tpd plant from canada they are using 100% natural gas actually and but they are facing lot of chemical attack and coating problem in the riser area and they are getting uh, maximum 12 months life means after 12 months uh, uh, they are replacing the majority of the refractory in the riser area we got opportunity to install our model lining during the may 2018 shutdown and this is the picture after 36 months that is after th 3 years 
and uh, there is very very small uh, minor uh, repairing was there but uh, still condition is very very good and we are expecting at least one year or two years life with this plant so overall five years life will be achieved this is the five 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 thousand TBT plant from vietnam and they are using 30 percent afr in bullnose area earlier they are used they are getting uh, very high into high heavy chemical attack and high heavy abrasion uh, getting only 12 months life and uh, when we installed our model lining they are getting three years life in this uh, cooler bullnose area and we already installed three times in this plant this is a plant uh, from Germany. They are using 60 to 70 percent RDF, and earlier they used to get only 12 months life in this cooler roof. And you can see, in, uh, we have installed our model in 2018, and after one year condition, and then after 2.5 years condition of cooler roof, it's still in, in very intact position. This is a case uh, from Sweden, which is using 80 to 85 percent uh, RDF, and it is installed uh, in the cooler front wall just below the discharge end of the kiln and we installed here in March 2019 and this is picture after one and a half year it's still model line is in, in, in intact uh, without any issue. This is one plant from Thailand line capacity is 4500 using 15 to 20 percent RDF. Earlier they used to get only 12 months life with castable and we installed our model lining in March 2016 and they got four, four years life. This is after one year. This is condition of, of model learning after two years. This is condition after three years. So after four years, they have dismantled and again reinstalled our model learning. This is the inlet, uh, inlet arch area where most of the cement plants are getting one year life or max to max two years life. But by using precast, has the precast, plants can achieve four to five years life in this area. This is picture from one of the plant in India. They got uh, around 51 months life in this inlet arch area. We have seen many of the Indian plants uh, uh, when we started to use more and more alternative fuels. Uh, there are a lot of coating issue in the feed pipes, uh, especially in the lower cyclones, uh, which is connecting to uh, which is connecting to the uh, uh, smoke chamber area. So by using our precast, uh, the, that coating problem can be minimized. So this is the condition of uh, feed pipe refractory after two years, no coating traces found in this plant. Now, coming to the castable differences, we also can serve our Haste castables can also be installed in the areas where most of the where more more and more coating is problem is there, and also there is if there is high chemical attacks there, uh, Haste castables are able to survive on that. So, this plant is using Haste D59. A castable and this is condition after 36 months uh, still in a very good shape so this is the one of the white cement plant uh, and they are using dp 9 a castable and uh, this condition after they are they got a 48 months life in the smoke chamber and riser area by using castable this is a 6000 tbt plant from india uh, they are using d52 a castable and cooler bull nose earlier they are not able to achieve even months life they have to patch, do patchwork after eight months or ten months but now they are plant is able to achieve 24 months life by using dpp2a castable this is the condition after 24 months of plant this is the 8000 tbd plant from thailand where they are using 25 percent afr and they start d59a castable and got 12 months life complete full campaign life in this burner pipe earlier they used to get only six months life this is a 10,000 TBT plant from India. They are using 100% pet pork, and uh, we installed the 65 TA castable in burner, this burner pipe. Earlier, they used to get only four to five months life, and now they are getting seven to eight months life. So it's also missing dub, double the life what they are using earlier. This is a plant, 6,000 TBT plant from India. They are using D52 A castable in nose ring area. Earlier, they used to get only 10, 8 to 10 months life with patchwork in between, and now they are able to achieve 18 months life in their nose ring area. There are few, the, these are few, is a few cases. There are many more for India and outside of India. So, this is the case for Killwood area where this plant is using 25% AFR, and they are able to, this picture after 30 months in Killwood, 
and expecting to at least two two more years to go. So coming to my last uh, slide, has the effective solution from a sustainability perspective, having a smooth process and stable production means to be more energy efficient. Secondly, longer lifetime of refractory means less refractory consumption and less installation man hours used over time, which overall reduces CO2 footprint and maintenance cost to be invo involved in the replacement. So if we, uh, if uh, cement industry or any particular plant is using high grade of refractory, it will be able to uh, use more and more alternative fuels, means it is going to be more sustainable. Thank you. This is from my side, and uh, I am Pankaj Gupta, who is looking, uh, looking after India, Middle East, and uh, East Africa market. And my colleague, Mr. Preacher, is looking after Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. And my colleague, Mr. Daniel, is looking after Europe, West Africa, North and uh, North and South America. So we are also having our page in on LinkedIn and Facebook where we are posting every week, we are posting one new case story every week. So please do follow us. You will get a good opportunity to see the different case stories, live case stories. Thank you, sir. Over to you, sir. Manu, sir. Uh, 